It's okay. She got turned loose. She's done pretty good. Well, in here, there it is. 
Sweet no, that's, little bacon fingers. That's too easy. Yeah, really. Okay, there's that. Now you need strips, which I did see them in the pink box. I got a couple thousand dollars worth of central vacuum to put in the house that she doesn't want to put in. My other sister that knows everything about everything, my brother-in-law had one, they didn't like it, you know. And I'm supposed to take care of her, but I'm supposed to, it's like well, digging this with a teaspoon. Is this a sister from the different place? Is there one from Virginia? No, sister, sister was trying to live here, but ever since she came back, mother's been fighting with her. Um, well, the, now this isn't the one from Virginia, is it? Is there one no. from Virginia too? Yeah, yeah, okay. she's special when she was a kid. Where is the medicine I brought home What did you say? She's the special one. <laughs> Oh. She's got kids. I don't have any kids. I have, I have dogs. Does that keep you from being special? Is that what makes you special? Isn't this then I, be, I must be extra special because I have kids and dogs. Yeah, and goats and quit, horses. Quit bragging. You make me feel bad. <laughs> horses. Yeah. And big dogs. Yeah. Big. I have it in. I need blood. I have 40 goats, 7 horses, and a dog. And 3 kids. Well, goats and horses are easy to quail too, aren't they? Uh -huh. You keep them special, you raise the goats for food. I do not raise them for food now. By one and a half I days. raise them a lot for kids for 4 H. We just had 20 babies last week. That's why I was off. Oh, they're cute. I love them. No. Eighty-two. I'm the one that's retarded. Eighty-two. So you need to get up and eat something here in a little bit. It's not too low, but you don't want it to get too low. I don't know if I can get up. I have to get up. Well, then he'll bring you something. You'll have to eat something here soon. You see my tissues in there. Where? What? Tissues? I thought I'd seen them here. No, it's not in there. They're probably over on the table. Probably. Tissues? Is my medicine and my tissues over there? Here's a bag. Is this? might be. Okay, that'd be it. I didn't know. I forgot to put medicine in there. I don't know if she has anything new. Oh, shit. Let me see. Is there anything new in that bag? Any new meds? What? Any new medicine? Uh, I want a pain pill. No, no, I knew that, but I want to know if you She can't hear, and she has a hearing aid she didn't like, and we keep talking about it, but nobody's doing anything about it. Doing all hearing. Yeah. Well, the only way she can hear the TV is I have these headphones. Yeah, I've seen her with those on. I came in one day and startled her because I do have another She didn't know I was coming. That you can use actually to talk to her with that, like a microphone in. Uh huh. Ronnie, you know where my phone is. Probably I got three phones for her. So. Here's a here's a pain pill. But why is there only that many in there? I left here last night, but I didn't say it this morning. How many of these pain pills there have you taken? Ronnie, it's here. Okay. Last two times she was in, they were going to keep yeah, her till they had her so she could move around. She came home and, and she didn't move. Yeah, but this time they didn't this, admit this her. Time, this was rested. Uh, yeah. That's what but, I was but told. But then again, they told me in the emergency room they were going to try that again. Is that what she wanted, a pain pill? And, and now she can't walk because her feet hurt her. Well, she's going to have to get up. I mean, yeah. She can't and, uh, lay around. Well, anyway. Uh, what are you looking for, honey? Anyway, my sister's had, had enough of this crap, and I have uh, had to make a few uh, trips to emergency room. I had a colostomy went one bed or whatever. You did? Oh. Yeah. Well, I had two of them in a month. That's a couple of years ago, but now we're having uh, oh, blockage and stuff like that. I'm pretty good now, but I still have a lot of appointments Tough coming up, and she's going to be alone a lot of the time. Right. And before uh, we even started having a lot of trouble I years ago, her. came Just home one day and I found her on the floor, you know, because of diabetes and stuff like that. And uh, every time, you know, she's she well, doesn't have any way to pay she for it. She knows I'll always be here. And hell, I'm going to die trying to, you know, how caregivers don't yes. last. 
is she doesn't have money to help pay for a caregiver like somebody else. Well, she got me. I owe them because it's my fault the business went under. What are you talking about? We had a body shop over here and all that. Oh, uh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I owe them. Besides, I'm semi-retarded and all that kind of crap. Well, not I can show you my medical records, but, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm not really a nice guy, but just my mother, you know? How you treat your mother? And I, and she wouldn't last in a nursing home. Uh -uh. But long enough to get her back on her feet. I think she's good for a lot more years if she takes care of herself and is a damn hard head. Right. But like the last deal, she didn't know when the hell to shut up. <laughs> and she kept pushing little sister so she couldn't take the crap anymore. And here we are again. So what happened then? Uh, I don't really know. And sister doesn't either. She had sort of a blackout. And uh, she's, she got hurt too. So anyway. So you think it was a confrontation physically? Is that what we're thinking? I don't know. Uh, mother, uh, well, she used to beat on us until I got too big, you know, and finally stopped it one day, and I never hurt mother, never made any threats or anything, but uh, she uh, was always sort of a bully, and now I guess maybe that's one of the reasons they have to get even with me, because I'm such a, I'm not as cute as I used to be, but maybe even nicer, but I can be a bigger a-hole, too, because I've had a lot of teachers. Right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to hook that central vacuum up, whether they like it or not. Uh, the place was for sale. They didn't want me to have it, but I'm supposed to stay here and help. I had the money for it and everything. To get a place away in Florida that my dad wanted me to have, that I could have bought, but he probably gave me just so we wouldn't have this crap here. And they decided that I would take care of mother. The law says that the oldest son's supposed to take care of the mother. There's no such law. They gave me a bunch of crap. They told sister and I that there was no will. We got dad's uh, medical records and... Uh, Maybe according to our history, maybe we don't deserve anything, but they could still be honest with us, you know. Right. So I spent, uh, I think, $1,000 the first time to keep her from going to the uh, nursing home because uh, of her Who wants to put her in the nursing home? Uh, my other sister's going to sell everything and buy herself a nice big house. Is that the Virginia and she's the sister? One, yeah, and she's the one that has unlimited power of attorney. Uh, she's uh, the one that mother always calls whenever, you know. Hell, if I come, in, I come in one day and bought my toe wear and said something, and she reported that as me throwing a fit. So, you know, I, I throw fits and stuff. I can, you know. But, but are you... I think I'm above that. Yeah. Are you... Do you and your sister both live here? Yeah, well, we're trying to. No, no, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I... I've yeah. never seen anybody yeah. here, but I've only she, been here She twice. wanted me to bring her home, and, and then she started saying hateful things, you know. She, Last uh, night? No, this is when she first came home back about me, and... Um, and such a bit upset, you know, she's not like that. And so, she didn't know what the hell to do. She you know, place better to go. And, uh, I don't know, want, you know, uh, take care of both of them, but uh, the way it is now, uh, mother keeps making it worse for herself. And uh, I couldn't lift her for a while, because my uh, But why would you let her go to the nursing home for a short time for rehabilitation? Oh, no, I would. No, I'm, no, I'm just no, asking. No, trying to put her in full time. Oh. She decided that she wanted to come right back home. The day that I was supposed to go to the emergency room, she showed up home, you know. And because with her so not being able to get around, room. we could maybe get her, I don't know what her insurance is. Is it Security Blue, UPMC, or Medicare? Yeah, I think it's Security Blue. Okay. Because some patients can it's go from home thing, to the nursing home yeah. for 70 days for rehab. But the biggest thing she needs to do is learn to get along with other people, especially the family. We can't fix that. I know. That's, that's where I'm... You know, Other than put our psych nurse in. Yeah, well, we're working on that, too. I keep in touch with them just to keep from, well, not to keep from going crazy myself, but... Uh, MHMR, you mean? Yeah. No, just, I'm talking about our own psych nurse. We have one. Oh, okay. We can always put her in. Can't hurt. Okay. I'll get the yeah. doctor to give me that order. People are all crazy anyway, you know. I know. Some crazier than others. A touch. Yes. Yeah. But, um, as far as physically, I, I mean... I wouldn't want your kind of job no way in hell. But the horses uh, yeah. and the dogs, and the, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. But, I, you know, I want what's better, best for everybody, including me. I've got a friend that has a bigger boat than me, and I don't even like to fish, and I have to buy a bigger boat. I have to go back to work to make the money. I think I'd sell the boat and give it up. Bar, yeah. Go boat with him. Well, I buy another airplane. He's a kid I helped teach about airplanes. He got air, air traffic control, and I didn't approach them. They asked me to come to work for them, but I was having sinus problems and stuff. And now he's retired, and the greedy bastard keeps on working, selling real estate and stuff. Huh. Chevy dealer's daughter, you know, and they have money. <laughs> Gosh. 
Well, what is the white stuff? It's some kind of stuff that it, it, it kills the bed bugs. But, uh, so why did we put it all over the house? I, I was just doing that at the time. But uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to clean it up. Mother did it or sister did it? Sister did it. She's trying to help. I, and I, I, she asked me, we still have a problem with bed bugs. And I said, yeah. So, you know, it had enough of them too. I'll look up the name of it. It's, it's, uh, no, it's, that's okay. It's, I just wanted It's not cheap stuff. Yeah, you know, but yeah, it's it's minimalist, but uh, uh, yeah, especially with that central vacuum, you know, because of the race. Where's that pill? This house is full uh, of that brown. Where's your pill? Races. Okay. What pill? She has a pain pill in her hand. Oh, she need water? Yes, please. He's gonna get you some water. Okay. He told me he's having trouble too with his stomach. My stomach looks awful. No. Everybody has their problems. But I don't want more than I can handle. Well. If I got enough money to go any damn place I want, I just wanted to keep the place in the family because my dad and I worked here a long time building all this stuff. I did, maybe not my part, but a lot of it. Right. Does the other sister come visit? Uh, whenever the checks come in, once in a while to make sure that... Because yeah, they, they try, I guess, but they Well, because apparently when the one doctor called us... The other, the, was it uh, Ruth the other sister was going to go to... Yeah. The, with, but the, yeah. Weather, the weather was bad. They do That's get, what I heard. And uh, I don't know if she was going to go anyway. Here's your water. How are you going to do that? Very carefully. Okay. Well, when you wear it, I don't want to hear about it. Out uh, well, we'll be checking on her a couple times a, a week. She, she, the more she does to lay down, the worse she's going to get. Did you hear me? Huh? We will be in a couple times a week to check on her for a little while yet. Couldn't stay here all day, huh? No, they don't lie. <laughs> I got family, too. Yeah, well, I, I, I could just leave any, well, not any time I want. I don't want to bend or anything, but I just, you know. Well, I, I wanted to make, so let me tell you something, because you weren't here, nobody was here, she was here, I didn't see her. Two weeks, or two times that I've been here before, I have asked her to allow me to make a referral to Area Agency on Aging. Did they ran on no. For sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I wanted them to come in, because they can put caregivers in. Well, the other night. But it depends on finances. Yeah. That's the problem. She, she was, I went down yesterday and got, you know, got right on the edge, you know. They wouldn't go for another day. But uh, anyway, yeah, they've been here. But I don't mean protective services because they got involved. Yeah, I'm I talking know. about yeah, like yeah, home yeah. care. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, no, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think see, so. I think you're talking different. Yeah. I protective think... services is one thing. Well, no, I've been in touch But with Area anyway, Agency but... on Aging, they're both the same, but they're different. Area Agency on Aging is the one that comes out, makes an assessment. You and check on that, could you? I can call and see if she's in her system. If she isn't, I have to have permission from her to make the referral. And she would not give me that before. Yeah, because she got me here. What if I left? Yes, exactly. Probably. What if I left? Then they move in. They would just come take her. See, they won't even allow me to do, uh, buy the place. And they can't do that because I'm a senior also. And that's discrimination and all that kind of shit. I, Who I, owns the place, technically? She does. Uh, but... Uh, she technically but, yeah, they, they fixed that in the will. Last one, of, one of the last things my dad did is they had him rewrite his will, and he was supposed to be all dressing up for uh, colon surgery, or whatever. Right. And really, when not a nice thing to say, but whenever you're feeling close to dying or sick or whatever, you don't want my mother and my sister coming to see you. They'll make you want to pull the plug. Aww. <laughs> that sister, or the other. One? This sister's okay. She helped me whenever I was in surgery, and uh, she witnessed a lot of my. Uh, Appointments, but yet whenever the VA wanted to get something against me, this one doctor that I accused of that in the first place called the other sister. She was saying how I never contributed anything, you know, as I was more or less a, a, a burden for him here. And uh, so, why you know, stay? Huh? Why stay? Uh, pride, I guess. You know how guys are. Guys are stupid. Yeah. Uh, I remember when the house was built and all this, you know, the business and all that. I am somebody in town because of this. People yeah. say about some of the good work that was done, and I said we had good guys, and they said, no, we saw you do it. I have a car on TV that uh, I painted for a hairdresser in uh, D.C., stuff like that. 
But in the meantime, I've got, uh, I don't know, maybe $100,000 worth of cars over there. The roof, I was fixing it for years, you know, and keep asking me, you know, oh, we don't want you to have it. So now I'm working with Crabtree down here. One last offer, and if that doesn't work, they can all go to hell. I mean, I've got divorcing wives for less. And they deserve it. No, sorry, I married him. I'm so glad I divorced him. Right. Huh. It is nice being married, though, to the girl you thought you married. What's he talking to me out of here? No. He's not even talking about you. He's talking about marriage. I'm asking her to marry me. Well, and I'm years. already. Yeah, she's he had already. That's what he told me. Huh. <laughs> Whatever you can do to help us, I sure appreciate it. Okay, well, we'll see what but we I'm can do. I'm going to try to keep the place, but I'm going down to see Crabtree uh, Wednesday. Yeah, and, and see, uh, legal stuff, we don't get involved, but I mean, if there's anything we can do to help her, but she has to agree. For a lawyer to fight this racetrack. And this is killing people too. The dust is so fine, as fine as asbestos, it's killing hummingbirds and stuff. She is surviving from lung cancer. Not many people do that. Her and I both are congested from this crap. I haven't been cleaning the place because I'm sort of on strike till we get this settled, and that has been 20 years actually, but 10 since Dad passed away. And uh, I was in the Army for uh, a while. We're the best little housekeepers in the world. I don't like to tell women that, but uh, right. we're good at keeping house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay, well, we'll be back at the beginning of the week. It'll probably be Sydney Morris, which I think the nurse had seen her yeah, before. Good. Okay. Still Have you met her? Yeah. Still Sydney. alive, then. You're still alive. You just got to get some energy and get that butt up off that dang couch. I know. Laying there is not good yeah, for you, and I don't, I don't want to hear it. You take your pain pills, and you got to get your butt moving. That's all there is to it. That's what they told me. We after. can't do it for you. After my surgery, when guts about hanging out, you know. I know, I know. So, get your butt out of bed. So the first time I went up and down there and stuff, I didn't have to go back twice. Exercise. You have to. You're going to rot right there on that couch if you don't. She was growing to the couch. I mean, you stop moving, you die. You're going to grow fast to that couch if you don't get up and get moving. Oh, you got to move, move, move. I, I got to get my house straightened out. Well, then move. Yeah. Move and do it. You know, guys are dumb, but I've learned to live with it and have fun with it. <laughs> I don't think you give yourself credit where credit's due. Okay. Well, nice seeing you. Well, nice seeing you, too, but I hate to have some growl you. I got to get better. Did you hear me? What? I like seeing you, too. But I hate to have to come growl at you. Are you growling? Yes, I am. you got to get up. Now, the therapist will be here and the nurse probably this week coming. Cindy will I, be back. I can't stand up for my therapy this week. Well, you're going to have to. You're going to have to get, take your pain pill. With that leg? I don't know. Okay. One day at a time. Okay, we'll see ya.